Hello again and welcome back to our course on Adobe PSC 11. In this section we're going to look at resizing images. And to begin with I'm going to return to one of the images we looked at in the last section where we did some cropping. And I want to talk about the relationship between the number of bytes in an image, so how much space it takes up on your computer, the physical size of the image and resolution because really in order to understand resizing you need to understand something about the relationship between those three aspects of an image. Now first of all let's take a look at this image. If you look at the information on the right in the organizer the image has 2304 pixels horizontally and 3072 vertically. So they're just over 7 million pixels in total. It's a 7.1 megapixel camera that it was taken on. So imagine 2304 tiny little dots along there. Obviously they're very small if there are 2304 of them. And then imagine 3072 down there. Again tiny little dots. Now consider how big a pixel is. Well how big a pixel is varies because a pixel on your computer screen is a much bigger thing than a pixel on a high quality color printer. So physically how big this picture appears to be will depend on what you're showing it on. Now you might think, well, are there really 2,304 dots along there looking at it on my computer screen? The answer is no, there aren't. There's a much, much smaller number than that. And what happens when a product like PSC, Photoshop Elements, is displaying a picture on your screen is it basically takes a selection of the pixels and gives you an impression of the picture. You can't see all of the individual dots on your screen here because the resolution on a computer screen is very poor compared with say the resolution on a high quality printer. So this all appears to be horribly complicated. Looking at the picture you can see now it's only natural to think well that's actually the size of that picture but of course it isn't what you're seeing is a representation of the picture and in fact how the picture looks depends totally on what device you look at it on whether it's zoomed in or zoomed out and so on and each device each piece of software you look at a picture in will adjust things accordingly so we really have to look at the numbers we have to say well what properties in terms of the numbers does this picture actually have? Well the first property it has here is the size in pixels 2304 times 3072. That's how many pixels, how many dots are in that picture. So that's a number we can rely on. Now let's look at one of the other numbers and for this we need to go into the metadata. And within the metadata of this image we can see that the resolution that was used to create the picture when it was actually captured on the camera was 180 dots per inch. So that is the resolution of this image. Now if you actually do a bit of arithmetic and say well if it's 180 dots per inch let's go back to general and it's 2304 dots across the top divide one by the other you find that the picture is actually 12.8 inches wide over a foot wide in reality and it's almost 18 inches high at 180 dots per inch so when you're looking at this picture at the moment and while we're going to now look at resizing it I'd like you to bear those three sets of figures in mind the number of pixels is 2304 by 3072 and at 180 dots per inch that will give us an image which is 12.8 inches wide which is roughly 32 and a half centimeters 17 just over 17 inches high which is just over 43 centimeters so let's now with that image selected click on the editor and go into the photo editor 
So in the editor to resize an image we go to the image menu down to resize and then on the flyout menu, the sub menu here, click on image size and we come up with this little image size panel. Now let me explain this panel because the contents of it are extremely important. First of all there's a link here to explain about image size which is well worth having a look at because hopefully it will reinforce some of the points that I've been making so far. But here are those numbers I mentioned, width and height in pixels, width and height in this case in inches and then resolution. Now let's suppose I wanted to make the picture half the size so I'm going to reduce the size of it from being 12.8 but to inches by 17 I want to reduce it to just half of that. Now I could divide these width and height figures in two but a better option is to change what's selected here to percent and say right I want it 50% in width, 50% in height. Now, two things. First of all, PSC11 is maintaining the aspect ratio width to height. So if I say 50% in width, I'll get 50% in height. Secondly, PSC11 is also not going to change the number of pixels. It's saying, well, it's still going to be that size. So if it's half as wide and half as high and you've got the same number of pixels the natural consequence of that is that the resolution will be doubled so this image will be now considered to have a resolution of 360 pixels per inch so I've effectively given myself a higher resolution image same amount of space but it would be physically half the size and that in one go really explains what the relationship is between these three things. Now the reality is that when you're looking at something on a screen you won't see 360 dots per inch. You get nothing like that resolution on a computer screen and even a good quality printer probably doesn't achieve that in normal use. You can get printers that go up to 600 dots per inch or even 1200 and obviously very high level printers and other high level devices can achieve high resolutions. But in normal use looking at an image like this on a computer screen, smartphone, tablet or whatever you'll get nothing like that resolution. So having an image with such high resolution particularly if say you're putting it on a web page or something then there's absolutely no point in using up all that space and having all that resolution because you can't use it anyway. So in reality what we will normally be looking to do is to not only get the physical size of the picture right but we'll be looking to make its resolution a realistic resolution. Now let's take this particular picture look at the size of it but in fact look at the zoom it's at 17 percent zoom in reality it's six times as wide as that and six times as high as that that's a big picture if you look on the view menu and go to print size you see it all just about there but you're still at 40 percent zoom if you went up to a hundred percent roughly zoom that is a big picture and you're going to need a pretty big piece of paper for that picture. So let's on the view menu go back to fit on screen let's look at a more realistic resizing of this image. Let's suppose first of all that we want to get it down to a web type resolution. Let's get it down to 72 dots per inch. So this time click on image click on resize image size this time we're going to resample the image and in resampling the image we're going to change the resolution from 180 to 72 dots per inch we're aiming to keep the size the same but because of the lower resolution the number of pixels width and height will reduce accordingly so let's click on OK So I've done a fit to screen at a zoom of 42% so this is just under half. The picture is still much too big. I really wanted about that kind of size, about a quarter of the current size. So in fact 
probably a sixteenth, so in a quarter linear of the current size. So I'll go back into image resize again. Now it's important that I have resample image selected so that I can specify that I want a resolution of 72 dots per inch. But this time I'm going to change the size again, so I'm going to scale it to 25% of the original. Now 25% of the original, I'll have 231 pixels wide, 307 pixels high. I'm going to keep the resampling going at 72. Click on OK. Now if I put, click on View, and I'm going to click on Print Size this time, that's the actual size that that image would appear. So that's the size that it would appear on a web page basically. So I've achieved my web level of resolution and I've got the picture down to the sort of size that I want it to be. I'm now going to close it. Click on close. Say yes to changes. I'm going to save it in the version set with the original include in Elements Organizer etc. Click on save. Now I'm going to keep the quality quite high. I'm going to keep the quality at 8 so click on OK. And now back in Organizer I find that I've now got a version set and this is the latest image in the version set. Look at the metadata on the right here. Resolution 72. And if I look on the general information number of pixels 231 by 307 and the size of the image now is just 44 kilobytes 44 kilobytes now just look at the original here 622 kilobytes so this one is well under 10 percent of the original in size and as far as displaying the image on the web is concerned this one, the new one, will look just as good as the other one could have done because we wouldn't gain anything from this one by having the higher resolution looked at on a web page. So in this section and the previous one we have looked at cropping and resizing and now we're ready to move on to the next main area with the editor which is using the selection tools because for many of the things that we're going to do from now on we need to be able to select parts of an image so please join me for that